Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 6th of May 1937, the German passenger airship LZ129 Hindenburg experienced a mid-air explosion at Lakehurst, New Jersey and was engulfed in flames in just 32 seconds. At the time, the Hindenburg was the fastest and most luxurious way to cross the Atlantic Ocean. It had already completed 63 flights from its base in Germany to a range of destinations as far as Rio de Janeiro. It had also been used as a propaganda tool to support Hitler's remilitarization of the Rhineland in 1936, and it flew over the Berlin Olympics later that year. The Hindenburg began its maiden transatlantic flight exactly one year before the disaster, on the 6th of May 1936. By the end of that year, it had crossed the Atlantic 34 times, transporting 3,500 passengers and 30,000 kilograms of mail. It was, therefore, a proven and reliable form of transport, if you could afford a ticket. When the Hindenburg arrived at Lakehurst on the 6th of May 1937, Captain Max Pruss delayed landing due to poor weather conditions. Three hours later, he carried out a very swift descent to take advantage of an improvement in the weather. The landing ropes were dropped at 7.21pm, but shortly afterwards, the Hindenburg was engulfed by flames. The most widely accepted explanation for the fire is that the airship was statically charged as a result of flying through the storm, and the landing ropes effectively earthed the airship, resulting in a spark. However, the biggest single factor behind the fire is simple. The Hindenburg contained 7 million cubic feet of highly explosive hydrogen gas. (laughs) 